And what is your name? Valerie. Valerie. Yay. Thank you very much. Valerie. I'm going to grab this chair here. So what we're going to do is tell you a story that has never been told before. And we're, I'm going to conduct the story. I'm going to point at each person on stage, and they will continue the story. If they falter, fumble, or mess up, yell, die. Let's try that right now. One, two, three. Die! die. They're out of the story. We continue on with the next chapter. So now I need a suggestion, a title of a story like The Little Lost Puppy or The Little Engine That Could or Bonzo's Big Day, something like that, but a story that's never been told before. The Little Alligator That Flew. Ah, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The Little Alligator That Flew, Chapter One. one. The Little Alligator That Flew. Timmy, the alligator, was hanging out in a pond, and he was going up and down as alligators do. It was quite normal for him to... To go up and down like all the other alligators did. But he was thinking that I could be something more than this. I could be like the ducks that I'm always trying to catch. I could ascend to the heavens with the ducks and fly south for the winter. But I'm hungry, so maybe there's some other things to eat in the swamp. And if I could fly, maybe I could start with the ducks, and then I could eat them on the <laughs> way up into the heavens. <laughs> but he knew he had to change. Change, become a metaphysician. But first he needed to sprout some wings. So he decided to go and hunt down all the large birds that lived near his little swamp so he could manufacture himself some large enough wings to carry such a large creature. And so he did. And he found several birds that were relatively large and started to unfeather them. But then he realized he didn't. He already had it within. He had his own magic powers. <laughs> the flying what? The little alligator who flew. The little, the little alligator, alligator who flew. flew. Chapter two. two. So now that he has all these feathers, he put them together and set them aside so that he could give them to another little alligator who did not have special powers. So that maybe he could have a small friend, maybe sidekick if he ever decided to fight crime and <laughs> later on in his life. So he decided to use the magic within so he could just ascend and kill all the ducks that he could. But he realized first he should Part of course, and teach all the other little alligators how to do some The little alligator who could fly. Chapter three. So once he decided to open his school, he. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. All right. The little alligator who could fly. Chapter four. So now that the school was up and running, Timmy was feeling very successful, and he was starting to realize that as he felt more successful, the power started to slowly go away. Maybe it was his need for attention and fulfillment that caused the magic to dwindle within him. He realized that if he wanted to fly like he so deeply did, he was going to have to get rid of this pride. And swallow it deep into his gullet. <laughs> and move on and start to really coach those little tiny baby alligators with love and nourishment. That is a true... <laughs> and the moral of the story. Don't scratch your feet with an air horn. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. Thank you.